Hello and welcome back to Warsword Conquest and our Dwarven Rune Lord series. I'm actually really, really excited about this one because we're going to go into a tournament straight away here. And this is actually in Wood Elf territory. So we're going to be facing a bunch of people that know how to use bows. And I'm not, I'm not someone that does. So <laughs> this might be, uh, this might be somewhat, uh, somewhat tricky. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be tricky. Maybe it's not, because we are indeed seemingly using a lot of one-handed weapons, which I got to say is definitely my, my kind of thing. And if I can just kill one more person right here, this guy, there we go. And there we are. We're through to the next round already. Four teams with three fighters. Okay, we got a, we got a bow, but that's fine because thankfully, because they know what's up, they've given us a one-handed as well. That's very nice. And who's this? I don't know who this is. This is some weird dwarf that we have to fight as well. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. What, a bu Bugman's Ranger. All right. Okay. Okay. That's one of the first times we've seen one of those guys, I think. Anyway, let's just kill that guy. Oh, no. Never mind. Apparently, I'm not. Apparently, my Phoenix Captain teammate is doing a lot of damage right here. And apparently, I'm not uh, <laughs> I'm not really needed. Okay. Wait a minute. Gotrek just got eliminated. Okay. That's good to see because I didn't really want to fight him myself. Okay, this is going to be a bit problematic. This guy is outranging me a little bit. He was. And now I should probably um, I should probably skip to the next round, but I'm a bit worried about doing that at this late stage, considering there was only one enemy remaining, and as you could see, it was pretty easy to eliminate him at the end. All right, so what we're also going to be doing in regards to my character build, I need to increase my agility more. Yes, <laughs> I need to increase my agility. So hopefully I'm going to be able to do that. Obviously, this very much depends on a number of factors. It depends on how much experience I'm able to gain. Obviously, um, you know, Gotrek basically carrying us through a bunch of battles so far has really made everything so much simpler for us because otherwise we probably would have, well, I mean, it's pretty obvious. We probably would have lost quite a few of those. Yeah, well, I mean, I would have avoided those, to be honest. I would have avoided those battles initially. But that just goes to show that that is yet another way that you can customize your experience in Warsword Conquest. And that literally is one of those great testaments to, in general, how Warband is in so many different mods. And in Warsword specifically, obviously, it is making it, it's just providing you yet another way to advance and to, to choose. You know, it's giving the player so much additional choice because there are so many different ways. Obviously, I've already kind of shown some of them. You know, you can just do the standard, standard thing where you just, you know, take a bunch of tasks and you do, you know... Uh, bandit hideouts, fighting bandits, you know, all that, you know, all that standard sort of stuff. You can even do trade routes if you want to. As far as I'm aware, I'm not entirely sure if there are any really, really good trade routes. Um, you know, don't quote me on that because I'm really not very aware of the trade routes in Warsaw Conquest, but I'm pretty sure there's going to be something amazing out there somewhere. And apart from that, you then have the ability to enlist in fellows armies you can actually enlist in in lords armies and that's amazing in itself being able to do that apart from that you also have the ability to become a mercenary obviously you have the ability to uh you know join a uh uh well basically delve into a dungeon and um, you can, you know, loot the various uh, chests in there and all that wonderful stuff. And there you go. Look at that. There's another 10,000 gold for us. 19 renown. Really, really amazing. That is so, so good. Oh, I actually got a sword. Look at that. <laughs> I actually got a sword, which gives me another one in power strike. I'm literally going to be equipping that. I am literally going to be equipping that right now. That that just makes all the sense in the world. I have seven power strike with me actually not even specking into it at all. I have three power strike literally just from my uh, just from my equipment, which is actually incredible. Okay, that's super super nice. Anyway, I I was actually making my way over to this dungeon. That was the main thing that I actually wanted to do, but I stopped here because I actually ran out of food. And so I needed to buy some, of course. Now I'm wondering, there, yep, there we go, there is one. This is exactly what I was looking for, or indeed hoping for, another 
uh, potion seller. So this is even better. And I'm actually going to be increasing my iron flesh here because what's funny is that we did actually purchase Ignore Pain in the previous episode. And I'm very much looking forward to seeing how that um, how that is. Obviously, the main cause for concern for me right now is getting as much renown as possible. That's it. I literally just only want renown. I'm only considering renown here. Obviously, the best possible way for me to make renown is probably to get a ranged weapon of some kind and go to halfling territory or generally go to a halfling area like the empire and um, you know try to look around the marketplaces there for some things someone told me about a specific area not sure i can't remember what you said now but someone told me about a place where you can actually get halfling mounts and those halfling mounts are um eligible to be used by dwarves so that's actually pretty cool. That is actually pretty cool. So thank you very much for letting me know about that. Um, otherwise, what we're going to do is I will spec another point. You know what? I'm going to put a point in agility now. And we'll go for another point in weapon master here. We, we, we will eventually be using firearms as well, uh, by the way, at some point. I don't know when, but at some point we will. And um, yeah, what I'm thinking right now is we're going to be continuing to level up our agility. I'll level up my, um, well, basically I've maxed out my athletics and my weapon master skills. So there's no, no need for me to really um, improve agility any further. But I do want to get it to about 18 if I can, about 18 or something like that. And uh, then along the way, we're also going to be maxing out or trying to max out as much as possible willpower because we still need another two points in that. And we also need to max out prisoner management and leadership too. So those two things are going to be relatively annoying uh, to get, but that's fine because we obviously have a bunch of time to do that. We have eight. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay, well I'm playing as Gotrek, so maybe this is not going to be such an oh dear moment, but um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. We're going to be up against Treekin. And you know how powerful Treekin can be, you know. If you've seen the Sla uh, Slaven? <laughs> if you've seen the Skaven series, not Slaven, but Skaven series, yes, that is going to be, uh, it's going to be a bit bad, a bit bad for us. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and see if I can just absolutely murder them really, really quickly with Gotrek here. Obviously, he has insane damage. Unfortunately, these fellows have such good defenses. It's really difficult for even him to do damage. Look at this. That's actually incredible. Okay. I'm going to try to keep them at bay here, if at all possible. Obviously, I'm going to take some damage as a result of this. But I'm hopeful that my dwarven units will actually be able to shoot. Oh, dear. This is bad. Oh, this is bad. Just tell them to charge in, guys. Oh, no. This is real bad. Oh, dear. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, this is real bad. Okay, I think we're going to have to retreat, fellows. Can we not kill one of them? Okay, there we go. We killed one. That is really terrible. Okay, everyone's running away. Can I run as well, please? Can I, can I retreat? My forces are... Oh no, this is terrible. This is an absolutely... This is an absolute travesty. Hilariously enough, though, the tree kin actually don't even do anything bad. They literally don't do anything super, super hard here. I'm going to just leave one soldier behind. That's actually fine. Um, they don't even knock us unconscious. I mean, I, I mean, they don't even kill us. They only knock us unconscious, which is actually hilarious if you think about it. And um, I mean, look, look at look at what we just we lost basically nothing. We lost nothing for that, apart from the fact that we obviously lost a little bit of renown. And if you take a look at my renown right now, I have 218. That's actually not even entirely bad. We've only done. Uh, well, this is the third episode, if I'm correct, I think. Yeah, I think this is the third episode. And we've only done three episodes and we are still we're basically almost halfway to where I want to be, which is obviously, uh, you know, getting to 500 renown and unlocking the rune forge and having some fantastic times there okay so the forest goblin army is coming gotrek is at 32 percent hp i'm a bit worried about him actually going in there as he is i don't really want to take a dwarf rune lord into the dungeon 
I think that's probably going to be a bad idea. I'm also not going to take Gotrek because he is very wounded right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do this completely solo and I'm going to increase the, the dungeon modifier to 5. And that's it. That's what we're going to do. There we go. Let's do it. Let's see what happens. Obviously, here's the thing. I do want to try, if I can, to get as much loot as possible. And I want to try to maximize my survivability. Oh, no. Are we literally fighting? Is it goblins? Oh, it is. It's goblins. Oh, get out of here with that. Thank you very much. Oh, well, never mind. Okay, yeah. So the best thing I can do right now is literally just try to be as methodical and as logical as I can. I can't believe this guy psyched me out. Did you see that? He literally fainted uh, with his weapon. That was... Uh, that was just absolutely... Uh, I, I don't even know. How long is this dungeon? I didn't even see. I didn't even see how long the dungeon is. So now I'm... Now I'm in a, a bit of a quandary here because now I'm thinking to myself, oh dear, are we going to have some issues? Oh yeah, it's chaos, of course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Why, why do we have so many hobgoblin wolf riders all over the place here? Okay, well, I guess I'm basically just going to ignore the chest then in this one because I don't really want to fight more more people, I guess. I mean, <laughs> is it worth it? I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Yeah, they're always able to beat me in terms of... Um, oh, no. Oh, dear. Okay, yeah, I don't have a, uh, a healing item for my poison. So that's really bad, actually. And I think I'm going to die, actually. Yeah, I think I'm going to die. This is really bad, actually. Um, I'm, I'm sorry. There's not much I could have done about this because I'm just playing badly, I guess. I guess that's it, because look at how much damage I'm actually taking from these fellows. I'm actually really surprised, to be honest. Um, but I guess maybe I shouldn't be. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, because I have literally just made so many errors. I can't heal myself, by the way, because of the venom, so... Don't worry about, you know, telling me, that, you know, to heal myself, because I, I know, I know. I can and, you know, easily will heal, but I am just poisoned. So I don't have the ability to do that right now, which is sad. Can I actually survive this? I might be able to if I can just bait this guy into it. There we go. All right. Okay. Is there a chest around here? Because <laughs> I kind of want to get the chest now, just because if I fail to live, which is very, very likely at this point, but let's just say that, you know, let's just say that is indeed the case. Okay, am I being shot? Yes, I am being shot from over here. There's another two enemies. Okay, this guy is going to be very annoying. There we go. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, that was a Chaos Dwarf veteran as well. I'm actually wondering, uh, should I just... I feel like I feel like I should go up the uh, up the ramp there, to be honest. I feel like I should really go up the ramp, but... I, I don't know. Can I... Can I really wait to do that? Because I, I don't know. I guess so. I don't know. Let's just go along here and see. Maybe maybe the chest is along here. And in which case I won't be able to... Uh, or should, should we say I won't, ha I won't be forced to go back. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it's here. Oh, did I literally get a headshot? I mean, that wasn't really a headshot, but he got me over my shield. That's actually hilarious. Okay, that was really, really bad. And, uh, well, there's, as I say, there is literally no excuse for me right here. And I'm just going to have to pull back some, uh, pull, pull my troops back. I uh, leave some people behind and that's it. That's all I can really do, unfortunately. I am so disappointed in myself right now. You don't have to be disappointed in me because I am very disappointed right there. I thought I was going to have a really nice time. Oh, look at that. I can actually join the tournament again if we want to do that. I'm at 10% HP though. All right, so here we go. We're up against some chaos here. And as soon as I start commentating, I get hit. Isn't that hilarious? I just killed two enemies completely flawlessly. And then as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I start talking, I literally just take damage. I don't even know. Uh, that's the let's play curse, isn't it? That is a huge, huge curse right there on me. And now I've been poisoned once again. Oh, that is annoying. Okay, healing myself. There you go. 
The poison was not a venom skill, so thankfully I was able to do something here. I gotta say, I'm actually really... I, I don't even know what's going on here. <laughs> Why are these enemies so difficult? I'm in a dungeon level three, by the way. I lowered the level by two because I thought to myself, hey, you know what? Maybe level five is a bit too hard. And I thought, yeah, okay, let's try and do something a little bit more, shall we say, manageable. But no, apparently that's still too much. I don't know. It feels like it is difficult, which is really weird because I've actually been doing things... Um, I feel, at least, I, f I felt like I've been doing things pretty smoothly. A lot of the battles that we've been in, I've been able to achieve victory without too many difficulties, but nowadays, I feel like I am out of my depth. What's going on? I don't know. But all I can say is that I'm hopeful that I'll be able to just not get killed by this thing. Thank you very much. And please let me find the chest. And uh, we also obviously have the um, added annoyance. There's the chest. The added annoyance of the fact that, wow, there's basically nothing here. Oh, never mind. There's basically nothing here. He says, imbecile, imbecile, I am indeed. That is 80,000 in cash. And that's obviously a base value. Do bear that in mind. That's not taking into account the uh, the trade penalty or anything like that at the moment. So, you know, it is going to be a lot less. This is a short dungeon as well, by the way. Oh, yeah. Also, this is... Uh, I am poisoned. So, obviously, we are going to be sustaining... Oh, are you serious right now? Skaven. Could they have done anything worse to me right now? I'm not sure. Um, they could have given me a rattling gunner, I guess. That's the one thing that they could have given me that would have been absolutely terrible. Oh, yeah, this is a scry... Is that a scryer Gisele right here? Is that a scryer Gisele? No, it's just a master gunner. Okay, that's not too bad. Thankfully, I kind of know how Skaven fight, so it's actually a lot easier for me to counter them in comparison to Chaos, for example, and Orcs. I don't know what it is, but I think it might be the large, um, the large character models on those, uh... On those characters. Oh yeah, guns obviously penetrate. Yeah, let's be a little bit careful about that. Thankfully, we don't need to worry about it too much because we were able to take reduced damage. Where is the chest though? That's the question. Where is the chest in this particular... Oh, there it is. <laughs> uh, easy enough to see. Uh -huh. That's great. Phew. Okay, let's see. Oh, nice. Actually, not a bad shield. I'm not going to be able to use that. I mean, my shield's actually pretty good as it is. So I'm not really... Um, not really in a, a tough spot in regards to my shield selection, but I would love to be able to find um, one of the wizards because I actually have quite a lot of money right now and it would be great if I could maybe do something about that. Maybe that would be cool. I actually don't even know. How does the ward save work with the rune forge? If anyone knows um, what, what that's all about, then by all means, let me know. But uh, basically, uh, I'm kind of just wondering how that is going to work. Do I... Do I get ward save from Cyrus, or can I just go to the Runeforge and just get that, and then that's better than what Cyrus gives you? I don't know, because otherwise I'm going to have to spend massive amounts of... The wall. You see that? You saw that? You saw the, see the wall right there? You see the wall? Yeah, okay, never mind. Otherwise I'm going to have to spend a huge amount of cash, I was going to say. Okay, oh, the Beastmen have declared war against the Skaven? What? Okay, that's an interesting development. That is something I never would have anticipated. I really never would have expected that in a million years. But yes, apparently they are attacking each other. See, now as you can see, I'm only getting 16,000 for this uh, skeletal armor, which is really sad. I can actually use this shield. And I suppose I am actually going to do that. Um, because why not? Why shouldn't I, right? Um, there's nothing else here that I really want to go for. No, I have enough food and all that wonderful stuff, so that's all great. There we go. There's an Ogre Maneater right there. There's a Ransom Broker. All right, so we're now involved in a siege as Gotrek, actually. I was not expecting to play as him, to be honest. I was actually expecting to play as my own character, but uh, okay, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's see what happens here. Maybe we're going to be able to do some really, really cool things. Maybe get us some... Uh, well, decent experience. I don't know whether I don't know whether we're going to be able to get anything else, to be honest. Because let's face it, I, I'm 
a little bit skeptical that we'll be able to get a decent amount of renown for this because I'm pretty sure the dwarves are outnumbering the goblins here. But I could also be wrong about that. I don't know. Um, but yeah, th this is... <laughs> running in as Gotrek is probably one of the most overpowered things that you can do in the game. And uh, I mean, especially considering, you know, being up against these kinds of units. I mean, obviously, it is very different going up against Treekin, for example. Treekin are a completely different beast than going up against regular goblin troops. Because, I mean, let's face it, I mean, look at them. You know, regular goblin troops are nothing in comparison to Treekin. And so that's, you know, it just takes you down a peg or two, doesn't it? When you're fighting Treekin as Gotrek and you think, Yes, I'm super powerful and I can easily take care of these enemies. And then you just, you know, you just get wrecked. Yeah, that's, a, a, <laughs> that's an experience that we've had not so long ago. So that's great. But we're fine. Looks as though that is indeed a victory for us. Pretty cool. I like that. Very nice indeed. Oh, we actually got 19 renown for it. Okay. All right. Okay, fine. That sounds pretty good to me. I like it. All right. Um, actually, you know what's really funny? I was actually making my way over here for a very specific reason. I wanted to come over here because I wanted to become a vassal. I'm not sure whether we're going to be able to do that. Let's actually speak to this guy and see whether we can actually do that. How do I actually become a vassal, by the way? Let me just see. This guy is the leader, right? Isn't that the, isn't that the guy? I actually have no idea who the leader is because they all have the same title or whatever. So let me actually just see. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. No, this guy. Okay, yeah. So this guy, he's on his way to uh, Karaz e Karak. Okay, so where is that? That is there. Okay, good to know. And I want to become a vassal of the dwarves because if we become a vassal, it's going to enable me to actually take advantage of these situations where you know, a potential thief gets taken by someone else, like the, like, the, like the night goblins in this particular situation. And then I would have technically, if I'd gotten there first and I was a vassal, I would have been able to besiege it myself. And then maybe we would have actually had something really, really cool happen. So that would have been great. Um, but obviously that didn't happen because, you know, I wasn't there at the time and I'm not a vassal. So, yeah, you know, obviously that's, that's the way things are going to be. However... One thing that I got to mention as well, I actually found a, uh, a another dwarf companion and his name is Scotty and he is a medic and I'm actually kind of surprised about this because obviously um, it's highly unlikely we're going to be getting Oggy Boggy. There's no way we're going to get Oggy Boggy in this situation. I mean, that doesn't really make any sense, you know, thematically and, um, you know, even though te technically Oggy Boggy is not a standard orc. You know, we know that. He's not a standard orc. But it's something that I'm probably not going to do in this particular miniseries. Because it's just... Well, there's no, there's, no, there's no sense in that. You know, as I said, it's not really thematic to have an orc in your party. Even if it is an unconventional one. Not sure why I'm doing zero damage to these guys. Must be ward save or something, right? Surely must be ward save. It's just not telling me that they've got ward save or something. Really? Do these savage orc boys have ward save? That, that surely can't be right. Do they? <laughs> if they do, that's crazy. That's really, really strong in actual fact. Okay, well, whatever the case, um, let's just wade in here a little bit and try to murder them as best as I can. I need to make sure that my forces don't sustain huge amounts of casualties as they are right now. Yeah, let's just try and assist them as best as I can. 
Uh, uh, ward save, ward save, ward save, ward save, yeah. All of that is literally just just massively helping them right now. I'm not getting the message that says that, they're, that the damage is blocked by ward save, but I'm pretty sure that's what's going on there. Because we're getting um, pretty significant speed bonuses, and we're doing zero damage. So it must be ward save or something along those lines. And look, look at that, you see that? Zero damage right there. Um, but I find it hard to believe that these random, um, you know, random archers have ward save, but I, I don't know, maybe they do. <laughs> if they do, then there you go, that's the reason. But we sustained heavy casualties just literally because of the, because of the insane amounts of ward save that these guys had. At least that's what I'm seeing right now. Anyway, we're going to be able to recruit quite a few people here, and hopefully we are uh, maybe going to find a Ransom Broker as well. I've actually found that the Ransom Brokers provide huge amounts of money in comparison to the Tavern Keepers. I know that, you know, generally you could sell, uh, sell prisoners to the Tavern Keepers as well. However, I have found, or at least it seems like it at least, and I'm going to be putting another point in Agility and Athletics right here, um, it seems like the Ransom Brokers just give uh, quite a bit more, maybe 50% more. I'm going to I'm gonna obviously test that out a little bit. But um, yeah, from what I've seen so far, it really seems to be quite a significant difference. But I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just imagining things or whatever. Anyway, let's just... Ooh, nice. We've got a runesmith right there. We can actually level some of these guys up into warriors as well. Master Miner, very good. And is he actually in here? Yes, he is. Great. Okay, there's even a tournament going on here. This is fantastic. I can't currently do the tournament, so that doesn't really matter right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go straight on in here, become a vassal, then we'll join the tournament, hopefully win it, and uh, then see what happens. Um, let me see here. Where, where is the guy? Uh, he's all the way up here. Of course he is. Of course he is. Big book. He's got a big book. Hello there, sir. All right, so I wish to become your sworn man. There we go. All right, this is fantastic. Okay, are you going to give me something? Are you you're going to give me something really, really bad, aren't you, sir? He's going to give me a really terrible thief. Pretty sure. Pretty sure he's going to give me one of these villages down here. Uh, actually, no, one of these villages over here. Pretty sure that's what he's going to give me. And then I'm going to be infinitely sad when it just gets raided in uh well every single second of every single day i'm pretty sure that's what's gonna happen anyway uh here we go dwarven uh, oh dear oh no oh this is this is some bad news for me okay yeah bad news for me oh there we go okay not too bad not too bad all right Let's just make sure that we're actually betting the appropriate amount. Okay, so basically all I've got to do is I've just got to kill two enemies in this round, and then I should be able to get through if I can actually make that happen. Nice kill right there. Can we get another one? Nice, got another one. Wonderful. All right, perfect. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're kind of, uh, you know, we're doing a, we're doing a pretty nice, a pretty nice deal right here. Getting, getting past super fast. Okay, don't get shot in the face. The high elf using a gun. I find that quite funny. Yes. <laughs> I actually wonder how much firearm skill he actually has. It seems like they've got a pretty decent amount because they seem to be quite accurate with it. Okay, let's just try to avoid this. This is a nice weapon. Crushes through blocks, as as far as I can tell, as well. So that's very, very powerful. Okay, three teams of two fighters. Uh, three teams of two fighters. That means I've got Gotrek on my side. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, that means I could technically get two kills and then tab out. But I'm not sure. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm going to have problems here. Yeah, I'm going to have problems here. No, no, no. You cannot kill me, sir. You cannot kill me. I will knock you down a peg or two. Or three. Or none. Or none. We lost. What? Okay, well, there you go. I guess that just goes that just goes to show, right? That just goes to show. Oh uh, well, never mind. Yeah, this this episode is one of those, isn't it? Yeah, this episode is one of mighty setbacks. Who's this guy? Oh, I can't take him. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna go back in there and see what we can do about getting him. Uh, because I want to try to recruit as many, um, you know, as many Dwarven, 
Uh, Dwarven Companions as possible. I have no idea what he's all about. Um, I don't know what his stats are. He seems to be a Pathfinding va uh, Vassal? No. Pathfinding Companion, potentially. Which could be very, very useful. Uh, no, he has nothing in Pathfinding. But we could potentially make him into a Pathfinder. So maybe that would be a good idea. As you can see, he basically... Oh, he has, a, he has a crossbow. He has a crossbow, which actually does significant damage. Look at that. That's pretty cool. And he's got some other stuff here, but obviously that's not going to be particularly useful for him. Um, okay, so let's go down. And let's see what we can actually do. We are at war against the orcs, right? And the night goblins. Okay. Yes. Okay. So that means that I need to look out for things. Oh yeah, by the way, I bought a dye works at Curon. And the reason why I did that is because it's highly unlikely that the dwarves are going to... Why am I moving so slowly? It's extremely irritating for me to move so slowly. It's because I don't have any mounts in my inventory, isn't it? I'm probably going to have to do something about that, to be honest, because otherwise we are literally just going to be moving the slowest possible that we can be. Also, I don't have any pathfinding skill. So it would be a really good idea for me to get some pathfinding or to find Eleanor because she is indeed a companion, I believe, that has pathfinding skill. And it would be amazing if we could actually do that. Unfortunately, these enemies are proving to be annoying. Get Yeah, there we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Nice. Okay, they don't seem to understand when Gotrek jumps. So... That's probably going to be the thing that will uh, see us through this... <laughs> see us through these uh, wonderful cavalry attacks. And hopefully I'll be able to do some nice damage here without getting absolutely murdered. There we go. Thankfully Gotrek has really good athletic skill as well, so he feels really agile to move around on the battlefield. And that's so nice. That's kind of what I'm hoping my own character will have, but obviously he's um, he's got a lot less athletic skill at the moment. Of course, I mean, what else, you know? Of course he's going to have low athletics at the moment. He's at a much lower level than Gotrek, so it's going to take him a little bit of time to make that happen. Goblin Warchief needs to die, thank you. And then we just got a bunch of ranged troops, but that should be absolutely fine. We really need to try and prevent our forces from dying here as well. It feels like they're dying so much more often, but I guess it's because we just do not have anyone that does surgery at the moment. The other guy that we recruited, Scorry, that I told you about, he has surgery skill. And he also has engineering skill too. So both of both of our new companions, they're going to be extremely useful for us once we actually start getting them leveled up. And this is exactly the reason why I really, really do not like fighting goblins. <laughs> they are so powerful in regards to their mobility on their mounts. If you can't take them off their mounts, they're going to be... Oh, they're going to be super harsh. Anyway, there's another 11... Um, 11 renown. I'm not going to be taking any of these. No, I, I refuse. I refuse to take any of these at all. Uh, even though trolls are absolutely fantastic, I'm not going to be taking them just because it is anti-theme at the moment, and I'd prefer not to do that. Okay, please don't. Oh, are you serious? Uh, I don't know what it is about the enemy actually wanting to attack me so much in this area. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go over to Empire Territory and I'm going to buy some really cheap mounts. All right, so we have the ability to choose our banner now. And I'm probably going to go for this one. I feel like this one looks pretty cool, so why not? It's got a nice contrast to it. And otherwise, I've just gone to Drakenhof here. I actually just spent about 6,000 gold on buying these horses. Now, I did buy some lame ones, but that's absolutely fine. You know why? We do have a person that has wound treatment, as far as I'm aware. I think he has wound treatment, at least. Please tell me you have wound treatment. He has zero. Okay. <laughs> Why? Why, sir? Why do you not have wound treatment? Oh, well, never mind. My, my mistake. I thought he had wound treatment. Oh, well, never mind. It doesn't matter too much. Basically, they're going to give us move speed on the world map ah uh, at least a little bit oh, this is this episode this episode is cursed this episode is really really cursed right now anyway there's a guy <laughs> there's a guy that i want to speak to actually funnily enough i actually don't even want to speak to this guy just yet because i don't i, I actually can't 
well, as you can see, I, I can't actually access any of his stuff because I'm not level 30 and I haven't won 10 tournaments. Although, funnily enough, I'm actually not even that far away from winning that many tournaments. I'm just having bad luck with that. Anyway, we are indeed the Lord of Snotling's Run. And so I'm going to go over there and we'll see what we can actually do. Okay, what's actually going on here? Wait a minute. Okay, we made peace with the Night Goblins. Okay, that's actually a really, really good thing. Because that means that I might be able to maintain my control over the village without getting it raided, I was about to say. And it literally just got raided. Are you serious? He continued raiding it even after the peace agreement? That makes no sense. Okay, well, apparently that's what happened. Anyway, we're just going to be leveling up this and then we're going to we're going to get 2 points in wound treatment. Thank you very much. Yeah, you better give me that wound treatment. Thank you. All right. So, yeah. He's finally leveled up at least. So that's good. And uh yeah, well, I guess that puts paid to my next plan, which was to actually go in here and um you know customize my uh, my my village a little bit and try to get some relation there and all that wonderful stuff uh so that's kind of sad but anyway we've got a ransom broker here so this this gives me a good opportunity so as you can see this guy is going to give me 1200 okay so let's see how much the tavern keeper actually gives me 600 okay so yes he he gives me double he gives me basically double the amount for the same amount of prisoners so the Tavern Keeper is, um, well, pretty clearly not as good as the Ransom Broker, but you do have to find a Ransom Broker, and that's kind of annoying. All right, so I think the next best thing for me to do here is actually to get another Enterprise. And I'm thinking right now that either we're going to get another Weavery and Dye Works, which, again, is obviously going to cause us to make less profit from the other one. As you can see, this is going to make us 1500 The other one is making us, I think, 1800 or something like that. However, I could also go for an Iron Works, which we don't currently have. So that might make sense. So I'll go for the Iron Works. It's going to cost me 8000 which I feel is actually pretty decent. I don't think that's a particularly bad price, and I still have 10,000 gold remaining. So if we do come across someone like Eleanor, which would be amazing right now, hint, hint, please, hint, hint, game, could you please give me Eleanor right here? Give me Eleanor in this tavern right now, and then I will be very pleased indeed. And then we can maybe uh, you know call this uh, call this episode a little bit of. Redemption, maybe. No. Uh, there's Ogalix. Do I want to get Ogalix to join me? I don't actually know. Is he good? I, I mean, he he is kind of good, isn't he? He's kind of, he's kind of good. So why not? How much is he? He's six thousand. All right. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Okay. And uh, well, there's a dungeon. There's a dungeon close by. So why not? Let's do it. Let's go into the dungeon. Did I level up? No, I did not. But we now have twelve agility, of course. Okay. So once again, okay, the dungeon's short in length, and I want to try and get Renown. So I'm literally just going to put it on difficulty 1 again. Apparently difficulty 3 is too hard, which is funny because I don't think so. I'm just playing badly, I suppose. I don't know. I guess that's the reason. Because why else, right? Why else would I be so incredibly useless? I don't know. Maybe I'm just off for some reason or another. Might be something to do with... Uh, you know, any number of factors. But who knows? Maybe I will do better next time. Or at the very least, maybe I'll do better now. Who knows? Maybe I'll be able to do something. I mean, I personally think that the main problem I was having before is the fact that I was up against a, uh, um, a basically a unit type that I don't particularly enjoy fighting. And I'm talking about chaos and, uh, well orcs as well they're very annoying and there we go we've got a skaven helmet and some uh, and a chaos um pair of gloves or whatever and i'm just going to make my way over to the exit i don't see the point in actually me going over there if the, if this is indeed the exit that is i kind of want to just move over here as fast as i can there we go nice this is short in length as well so i should technically only have to go through five levels which is really really nice 
Okay, I've got to be careful here. This shield is really good, by the way. I mean, literally, it covers almost my entire body. I'm pretty sure it does cover my entire body, actually. So that's actually crazy <laughs> if you think about it. You know, no one is going to be able to hit me with a projectile now as long as I'm facing in the right direction, of course. And this axe is carrying us to victory most of the time, at least, because that, that extra damage that it causes is such a significant benefit early on when you have very little power strike skill although to be fair i actually do have pretty decent power strike now but you know it's still decent okay we're gonna have to be careful here okay these guys no they're gonna try to stab me as much as they possibly can but i'm gonna try to be very very cautious i'm being shot at the same time as well by the way so that's also something that we've got to take advantage of we got to try to be very, very careful. But that's the thing. If they're firing at me, that means they're not firing at any of our friends, uh, which we have none of. So that's great. <laughs> that's wonderful. That's absolutely great, isn't it? Yes. Uh, okay, well, we do get an opportunity to test out my shield. Look at this. It's literally like a shield that's just moving. It's just a shield that's moving towards the opponent. Yeah, uh, no one can actually see us at all beyond the shield so unless they have a gun it's going to be very difficult to uh, penetrate that so that's great that's really nice actually pretty happy with that actually i think that's quite quite nice otherwise um what, what is this is this the third one or the second one i actually don't know but all i really want to do now is find the chest pretty sure i'm not going to be able to this level is one of those ones that i am not a big fan of searching for the chest on because it requires me to go further than the exit to search and i don't like that so i'm literally just going to exit straight away this is dungeon room three right here okay uh oh this is an interesting one okay yeah we spawned here that's really interesting, actually. I was not expecting that. Okay, here we go. Kill this guy. Don't get shot in the face. Thank you. Oh, no. Don't get killed now. No, 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 no. There we go. I'm just trying to manipulate their movement right here. Because if we can manipulate it so that they actually separate themselves from each other, then that's just going to make a huge, huge difference. These Hobgoblin Taskmasters are the bane of my existence. They're basically like Master Molders. You know, they've got that big two-handed pole arm that just seems to do such insane damage. It's a blunt weapon after all, so of course it is. You know, it's going to just have such high penetration. But you'd never think that they'd want to penetrate something like this, right? I mean, come on. We've got very little armor and it's, well, it's not really going to... I don't know, it would probably be more beneficial for them to use something like a cutting weapon or whatever, considering I do have such low armor. I was kind of considering buying some dwarven armor from the marketplace, but I was looking at those things, and they basically only give about 10 or 15 more armor. I guess that is actually kind of significant, but I was kind of hoping for a bit more than that. Maybe I'm... I don't know, maybe I'm spoiled or maybe I'm I'm thinking, uh, maybe I'm wanting something too, I don't know, too uh, too powerful or whatever. I don't know, maybe, I, I that's the thing. I want to spend at least, I don't know, I want to spend about 10,000 on just a decent armor piece. And I don't really want to spend 5,000 on something that is going to be, uh, you know, replaced by something later on but that's the thing if it can actually help us to progress and help us to actually achieve our goals is it really a waste probably not right probably not yeah that's that's the question that's the question that we've got to ask ourselves most of the time all right wait a minute i think there's going to be a chest around here oh no apparently there's just this guy dying well that's that's good at least Okay, come on now. We can do this. I want to get a legendary. I want to get the renown. That is what I want to get. Yeah, these guys are all hiding behind these these pillars and everything. We've got a bunch of ranged troops in the distance as well. Come on now. Let's let's fight. Come on. Okay, here we go. Try to 
keep away from them as best as I can. Obviously, there's very close quarters combat here, so we're going to have to be very careful. Obviously, they're knocking me down as well because they've got this large two-handed blunt weapon. Nice. That was actually a really, really good attack from this guy. Got to give him props for that. I was certainly not expecting an overhead, but there you go. He went for it. And he was actually much, much faster than I anticipated. I actually thought to myself, nah, he's going to take a long time to swing this weapon, but he was a lot faster than I thought he would be. There's the chest over there. Okay, that's great. I might actually just take a healing potion right now just to prevent ourselves from failing if that indeed happens. Look at the loot. We're getting such terrible loot here. Okay, I'm just going to swap out these cabbages for the moment. And the cheap grain. Just in case. You never know. Just in case we actually come across some loot that is amazing. Oh, never mind. Look at that. We actually finished... A Chaos Rune Sword. Right, so this is actually a pretty decent weapon, but I'm probably going to be selling it. Um, I think, at least. Because, here's the thing. Gain two one-handed proficiency every time you defeat an enemy lord in combat with the sword. In my opinion, this stipulation of having to kill an enemy lord or defeat one is much too rare for that to actually be useful. And so you gaining two one-handed proficiency every time you defeat an enemy lord, how often does that happen? You see, that's the thing that you've got to consider here. That's the thing I actually take into account almost every single time I am determining the value of a particular item. But there you go, we did get 19 Renown, which I have to say I'm very, very happy about. And we also found Ogolix in the tavern here as well. So that's not too bad, and obviously I'm going to be able to sell the Chaos Rune Sword for a small amount of money, and, well, everything else was not particularly amazing. I would like to get some inventory management too. I have zero in it, so it would probably be a good idea for me to actually spec some points into intelligence. But, as I said to you before, we do need to actually level up agility, so it's a little bit of a problem situation for me right now. Maybe I just have too much food. That might be the reason. Otherwise, we're going to be waging war against the Orcs, in upcoming episodes and we also have 259 renown now we started the episode with i think 200 or something like that so not a bad showing but i could have done much better in my opinion anyway that's going to be it for this episode i thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time